some eggs. Come on, Toast, how you doing? Mm -hmm. What's up? Yo, everybody done left me. Come back there. What's up, people? They all done left me. Everybody, Duffy's gone, Debbie's gone. I'm here by myself. They all left me, y'all. Couldn't take it no more. Now, Duffy and them had to go back and uh, back to California. So I'm about, I'm just went in the, in the refrigerator just a few minutes ago and digging around there, see what I could find, and I uh, found me some a uh, little bit of sausage. Stephen and Sharon Spring, how y'all doing today? Oh, I'm fixing to get me some, I'm making me some breakfast. Look at this big old egg. I'm fixing to see what's up in there. My buddy give me all these eggs. And I'm fixing to fry some up. Double yolk. Two yolks and one egg. Y'all see that? Oh, boy. Jackpot, I hit the thing. So I don't need as many eggs at all tonight, huh? Uh-uh. Put my few eggs right here. Get back on there. I'll be ready to eat in a minute. I'm going to put these eggs up. Because if not, I'll forget them out here in the coon and get them. Oh, I'm back. Yeah, Miss Jenna had to go to like a wedding reception party, some deal. So, uh, anyway, they'll be back at the wall. Well, she'll be back. Duffy and them gone. Gone, gone, gone. They're going to California bound. California bound. Well, Duffy's going to California. I think Miss Debbie going to, to Florida. Melissa Dickerson, how you doing? Yeah, <laughs> that's like a big old dinosaur. Yeah, that's a big old egg. That was a big egg, wasn't it? Now wait till the egg releases before I flip it. I better get me some plates over here. Me and Miss Jenner was talking a while ago. We was talking about what I was going to fix to eat. She said, I'll bring you something back. And uh, we had a little bit of this bear sausage left over from this morning. I said, I'm fixing me some of that bear sausage and cook me a few eggs and a little bit of toast and I'll be set. I love cooking breakfast on. We had that big breakfast this morning. You know, I love cooking on this black stone. Especially breakfast stuff. I love my breakfast. Carl by him, Southern Texas, what's up? You're waving at me, huh? <laughs> you think they're moving bad? It's Carl Buckham, Buckingham, Buckingham, Southern Texas. What's up? Okay, we got this egg, take can flip it. Mm-hmm. Won't be long, I'll be eating this stuff up. Mm-hmm. Jerry Bryant, what's up? Oxford, Georgia. I know where that's at. Been through there. Kathy Reed, how you doing today? Do you ever fetch fresh toast? Yes, I do for the grandbabies. I do that a lot for them. The grandbabies love that. Uh, sometimes we'll fix it for me and Miss Janet, but no. Most of the time we won't. We uh, I'll fix it for the grandkids, and that's about it. I done got way too much stuff to eat. Mm-mm. Cut my fire off, y'all. We'd be ready to go smack down on this stuff. Woo-woo. Yes, indeed. Let me get set up over here. I ain't got my plates. Let me turn my lights on. 
Y'all see my light up here? Miss Jenny just loves her light. Watch this. Two. Got a dimmer on it. And everything. Mm -hmm. Let me drop y'all down where y'all can see me. Two. Gotta go get me a water. Be right back. Y'all look like I'm gonna be drinking. Looks like I'm gonna be drinking strawberry drink tonight, cause that's all I can find in there. I think I'm gonna run out of everything. Shane Z, what's up? Bruce, do you ever make biscuits and gravy? Oh, do I? Who said that? Shane Z. Yes, I am. Oh, I'll make some good biscuits and gravy. Yes, indeed. You couldn't. I done made so much gravy over my lifetime. You couldn't put it in a 55 gallon barrel. I'd fill it up five times. Guarantee you that. Put some honey in it. <laughs> Somebody said. Whew. Jake Powell, what's up? Just got done cooking. Some jambalaya for supper. That's what I've been wanting a little jambalaya. But I usually don't cook a lot of jambalaya because. The main reason I don't cook a lot of jambalaya is because everywhere we go around here, somebody's always cooking jambalaya. And so I always get to eat it, so just not something I, I cook a lot of. Miss Jen don't really like it. Well, let me not say it that way. She likes it, but it's not one of her favorites. As far as me, Jambalaya, I could eat that every night. Kathy Bentley, what's up? Chicken noodle soup in Clarksville. I know what Clarksville is. Haven't been there in a while. Cameron Church, what's up? Who said that? Melissa Dickerson said she's gonna make, she's gonna make her some toast with honey and butter. That is good. Is that John Dufresh? Had biscuits and tomato gravy. Well, stupid me went and I had about three biscuits left over from this morning. And right before I started cooking, they had a couple birds out there in the yard. So I threw the biscuits out there, kind of crumbling them and throwing them outside. And uh, letting the birds eat them. About that time when it hit me, you should have had your biscuits and sausage. But it was too late. The birds was eating it. <laughs> mm. Now the toast is it's just I don't know what it does, but something on that black stone, it cooks the best toast. Somebody in there said they had some gumbo. Just to eat some grits. Boy, I got some grits. I got a big bag of grits from Tennessee. Some uh, stone ground grits come out of the Smoky Mountains. That one of them places that grind them up right there. And uh, got some in the refrigerator. Keep them in the refrigerator. Doug Bruces, Bruces, Bruces. What's up? Talking about breakfast. I like to eat breakfast for supper. Me. I ain't got no problem with it. The main thing me and Miss Janet don't eat. A big breakfast no more. So, only time we get to eat breakfast, well, if we're camping or if we're uh, at night. Mmm, that's so good. Mm -mm. Flipper Joe, what's up? <laughs> you need to send me some what? Portuguese what? I don't know what that is, buddy. <laughs> David Johnson, what's up? Do you make your so make your yeah make sausage gravy? Yes, indeed, make some of the best around. 
Me and Daryl was at a uh, barbecue contest one morning, and I was uh, I was uh, cooking uh, biscuit and gravy sausage and biscuits, and uh, some of the neighbors going by. Anyway, I was cooking uh, sausage gravy. No, we good. <laughs> I don't got nothing to do with that. I don't have nothing to do with that. <laughs> nope. A lot of stuff happened. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's somebody, uh, some, somebody stopping on the road and talking. All right, see y'all later. But uh, I forgot what we were talking about. Oh, Daryl, in that, that that show, we was at a barbecue contest, and uh, I cooked one of my Dutch ovens plum full. I'm talking about to the top of uh, white gravy, sausage gravy. And Daryl said, who in the world going to eat all that? And then I cooked three big pans of biscuits. He said, Bruce. I said, trust me, Daryl, he'll be gone. Next thing we know, we got a, got a big old fellow over there, and he got a biscuit rubbing the bottom of that pot. I'm telling you what is good, though. Billy, what Langley says you need a cooking show? Well, I got one that's on Facebook. We don't need TV. We got y'all. I got all my friends watching, so and that's all I'm worried about anyway. <laughs> all right, hi. What's up? Gordon, what? Oh, Gordon Good Goody. I ain't gonna try that last name, Gordon. <laughs> but uh Gordon's where's Gordon at? Colorado. In the house. I wish I was up in ST's Park about right now. I guess there's a little cold for ST's Park though, probably by now. Ray Bell, what's up? Good day, mate. What's up? <laughs> Hi. Ray Bell's in Aust uh Australia. Yes, indeed. Fine. I just talked to David a few minutes ago. Boy, that's calling. I told him, text me. He got a gun. He don't know what it is. <laughs> and y'all got to know David. His name is uh, David Hammond. He's used to be from right here, but um, I think he's in Sabania, Georgia now. Way up the road there. Is that Billy Dog on here? I thought I seen your name, Billy. It passed by so fast, y'all. I had to catch it later, y'all. Back to them, been backing up for. There it is, Billy Jake Dog. What's up? What's up, Billy? J Billy's in the house. Talk to my buddy Kenyon, your buddy Kenyon. Uh, either today, or must have been yesterday. Kenyon is in Missouri, deer hunting, and he gave me an invite to come up there with him. But we got so much stuff going on right here, I just ain't got time, and uh, we got to do some. This and that, and we're still trying to get over, get over uh, <laughs> gator season. So I ain't gonna be able to go up to Missouri and make a hunt. I would like to. E J A Albrado, what's up, Bruce? Did you have a gator farm? Yes, I did. I still own a gator farm. I just can't go to it. A lot of family problems. Melissa Dickerson, what's up? Sounds good. <laughs> Chrissy Gomez, how you doing? Pat Duncan. My PC keeps freezing up. I know all about that. Mine does that too. But I got a daughter that comes work on mine every once in a while. She, she kind of fixes all that mess. Mm -mm. Mm -mm.
crazy cats running all around here. Keela, Keela Albert, what's up? Do you ever cook deer liver? Yeah. And the heart. Yeah. If she says her kid, that's one of. That's something I used to cook at my camp all the time. It'd be way back in the swamp, and I'd kill a deer. And especially if I was by myself, because uh, if I was by myself, I'd take that heart and slice it up, thin slices, make me a little roux, make me a little gravy, put <coughs> put that in there. With a little onions, and oh, you talk about good. It's fresh. Mmm. <coughs> Y'all, this is some good stuff here. Mm. What's up, Chip Hot? You doing all right today? You got the peanut planet? I don't know much about plant peanuts, but I'll show you how to eat them. <laughs> I love to eat me some peanuts. DJ Al Alvarado, he said he's in Prairieville. Cool, that's right up the road. Michelle Lee, what's up from Florida? Martha Greenlee, brunette, what's up? Hi from Alabama. Arnie Scott, what's up? Lexington, Alabama. We got a lot of Alabama people in the house, huh? Mm-mm. Oh, it's getting late, y'all. You about to get dark on me out here. See, I've been, I swept off the roof of, of the thing. Of this building. My outdoor kitchen. And I've been, been cleaning it all up. Y'all see all the, all the leaves and trash out here? All that was on the roof. <laughs> I'm serious. It was on the roof. I'm hoping I get my truck back next day or two and make a, make a run down the swamp. See if I can find me a fresh hole. Mm -hmm. Time to put something in the freezer. Actually, I cleaned out one of my freezer a little bit. Had a little stuff in it. Trying to get rid of Jason Whitley, what's up? Bruce, come up and I'll put you on a book. We kick off this Saturday. Sounds good, but I think Miss Janet got me doing other stuff. I've been shoot shooting my, uh, my crossbow a little bit. And I'd like to take that in there and stick something. But I've never shot nothing with the crossbow. Feather Brown, what's up? What's for breakfast? <laughs> I just had a little sausage, a little bear. Actually, some bear sausage I had. I had one pack. I've been saving it for my buddy. And he come here and we ate some this morning. Because we had three kinds of boudin and some other sausage we ate. And, um... Uh, Anyway, I had a little bit of that bear sausage left, so I fried me a couple of eggs, made me some toast, and just trying to eat light. Me and Mr. Duffy have been doing, we've been doing some serious eating this week. Duffy likes to eat, and I like to eat. So I'm going to have to get back on my little routine there. And uh, Doug Huff, what's up? I'm going to have to get on my little routine and start, uh, start, uh, just, uh, try to cut back a little bit and start kayaking. <laughs> See if I can get a couple of these pounds off. I ain't even gonna get on the scale until I uh until I try kayak about a week or two. <laughs> I know better. Hey, do a what's it going on? I can't back it up, y'all. I don't know what it did. You eating alone tonight? Yeah, Miss Shannon had some kind of party with the, uh some of the women. Uh, so I stayed home. That's all right. I, I'm ready to stay home. <laughs> Wanda Lutheran Land Landreth. Hi, she said she wants some breakfast from where? What's wrong with this thing? I hate it when it does that. I think she was somewhere in the Carolinas, y'all. Need a food truck or a restaurant? No, I don't want that. Oh golly, what I did? <laughs> Dick Stewart's outhouse smokers. 
come back to the oh golly this thing drives me crazy y'all I can't read the comments and they take off even if I'm holding my hand on them and somebody says put something on there about a come back to punch the tool and try some smoke something oh I bet I know what it was I just seen the glance so we went to the country market Sunday and uh this guy had a, he was making sausage here Sausage maker. I got his car. I'm probably gonna get me some sausage maker. It's pretty good stuff. John Wood, hey. Big John from New Warren, New Jersey. Got my eye on a nice eight point. Cool. Get him. James Savage, what's up? Joey Claudia, let's go fishing. I'm ready, buddy. Scott Shelby, how you doing? You have a full what beard? Yeah, I used to have a full beard uh, before the show started. But uh, what happens? They make me shave it. Sometimes they they come back after a couple weeks. Like they've been gone about a week now. Okay, maybe in two weeks they come back. Need a little bit of a clip of this or that. So I got to shave. You know, so I used to wear a full beard. And then, you know, about 20 days, they'd come back, do something, and I'd shave. As soon as they'd leave, I'd grow it back, and then, poof, here we go again. Of course, Miss Janet likes it this way, you know. So I just let a little bit grow. I need a full beard, but Miss Janet don't want it. So that probably ain't going to happen. <laughs> Dale Mayhew, what's up? Tony Anderson. Roll back to them. I tried to, but there was so many coming through, Tony, I couldn't do it. Janet Zimmerman. Hello. Doug Huff. Kentucky. Mm -mm. Now, I try to. I read all these after a while, y'all. I do every night. I read them. Doug Jean. Doug Jean. Do you keep the deer ribs? Yep, I sure do. Let me go, I'm going to go get my deer rib cutter. Let me show you. My uncle made me something to cut them ribs with. Be right back. I got it right in here. That is a... Uh, Kind of like a meat cleaver thing. And look how thick it is. My uncle made that for me, Uncle Junior. Burton Wright. And it's made out of, I think, a chipper blade or something. But that thing is heavy. You just put it on that rib and do that. And just chop right through them like it ain't nothing. And hog ribs, too. The hogs do real good on that. Whew. Oh, my. What's up? Looks like the cool weather is over. Yeah, I felt that south wind hit me a while ago. I was burning a few of these leaves in my fire pit. John Rodriguez, what's up? I look good, brother. Yeah, I look good. I think so, too. Finally, people start to see it my way, huh? Jeff Greer. Hey, from just south of uh, Atlanta. South of Atlanta. Mm. I never fooled around south of Atlanta too much. Well, maybe toward Dothan a little bit over that way, but that's way south, huh? Mm -mm. Close to Noonan. Well, I know what I said. I know what that noon. Don't forget to turn your clocks by. This week it gets... And he said he was, uh, Jeff, you said you were south. Atlanta, Noonan, south, uh, Noonan is, uh, would be west of Atlanta, right? I think you're right, yeah. I think I'm right. I was wrong once before, but that was a long time ago. <laughs> we got some good friends in LaGrange over there. And actually, he was from Noonan. He was born and raised in Noonan. Ray for Gabriel. Ooh, how does the gator taste? Tastes good. <laughs> John Rodriguez says I'm looking young. I'm not. I'm old. Brenda Moss, how you doing? 
He's the best ever. <laughs> I don't know about all that. We're going to have some good shows, though, this year. I guarantee you that. This, this is going to be one of the best years the Swamp People have ever had. I guarantee that. I, I can't wait to watch it myself. Cannot wait. <laughs> I cooked popcorn for Lolly the other day, and she said, Is the show coming back on? I said, Yeah, why? She said, Tonight. And she said, That's when we cook popcorn. She wanted popcorn to watch the show. Well, she finally got her popcorn anyway. Uh oh, what I did now? Doug Jean, you guys always, what? Have a great show. Well, thank you. Well, it's going to be super good this year. I guarantee you. Remember me telling him that. Kathy Green, what's up? How you doing? Kathy Pitts Green says 202,000-something views, something like that. Wish she could get uh, many people on her mom's what? Show the Crazy Pearl Show. What is that? Private message with me, uh, Kathy, and tell me about it. I might can help her out. Pretty wild. What's up? Justin Colfax Hanner. How you doing? Got you hungry, huh? <laughs> we always eating something around here. Leonard Armstrong. Oh, when you coming back to Texas, stuff? Hog hunt. Ooh. Man, I'm ready to go right now. I was watching some of that Man X videos the other day. He put some stuff on there. Yeah, uh, uh, Richard had, I think it was, uh, it sounded like Richard talking. And, um, uh, I was ready. I was getting pumped up. Uh, Kenya will be coming back in a couple of weeks, and we're going to start fooling with some hogs in. Finally, it's cooling off some. We don't like to mess with them a lot when it's hot. Uh, when it's real hot and you gotta you you fool with them hogs, you gotta. And we're way back in the woods. And if you shoot one way back there, by the time you haul them out and gut them and all of that, and most of the time when it's real hot, it's it's just too hard to fool with that. If you you gotta gut it and pack it with ice right then, you know. And we uh, it's just hard to fool with it. And I I, I hate to have spoiled meat. Tell you what's up. Johnny Reed, homemade banana bread right now. Cool, my aunt makes a lot of that. Whew. Mr. Alan Ryan, he's on there. He got his own YouTube channel, Mr. Y'all look him up. Uh, he said thanks for the shout out. I read your uh, thing earlier. Uh, he started, Mr. Alan Ryan started him a cooking, cooking, uh, cooking little cooking show there. I look at all the stuff all the time. From Nova, Nova Scotia, Canada. Who's that? Keely Spencer. How you doing? Anthony Primo. Primo. What's up? At Atkins. How many gator tags did you have this season? Huh? With the price? Too many? <laughs> I think around 300. Doug Jean, what's up? Meat ruin in the heat. That's it. When I shoot something, the hunt's over. I'm ready to take care of my meat. Daniel Irvine. Here in Springfield, Missouri. Thank you. Appreciate it. Jason Cooper. Love me some alligator meat. Me too. Tony Hagen. What's up? Lake Charles. David Acock. What's up? Jimmy Johnson. Favorite thing is banana bread. Yeah, my aunt makes us some banana bread. And uh we love to eat on that. Sarah Craig, how you doing? Josh Champion, what's up? I see something running behind me, y'all. What is that? Oh cat. Sometimes I got a coon running behind me. Josh Champion says, How's the black stone stuff holding up? I'm thinking of buying one. Go ahead and buy it, because it, it's some good stuff. Uh, they hold it up real good. Uh, I really like it. It's uh, compared to a lot of the other brands out there. It's a lot cheaper. And I, I can tell you why. Because uh, I asked some of the owners of the company, why is y'all stuff so much cheaper than these other places? 
Oh, I said, why? You know, why is y'all Blackstone products cheaper? Well, Blackstone owns its own company. They build their own stuff. Like a lot of these other companies, like Camp Shift, uh, uh, a few of the other ones, uh, uh, they have their stuff made. Other people make it for them, you know. And uh, but but they own their own. Blackstone owns their own company. That's how come they can make their stuff a lot cheaper. You know, it's made in house, and um, that's why it's so much cheaper. But it's, the quality is there. It's it's real good stuff. But uh, if you're gonna buy one, go to Blackstone.com and put in put in what you want and put in a promo code Bruce Mitchell, and and um, I think that's what it is. Go to my website. It, it'll tell you how to, how to do it, and uh, they give you a discount on it on Blackstone products. Angie Fickers. Hello, Mr. Bruce from Mobile, Alabama. We know where that's at. Y'all will be having a pecan festival pretty soon or just had it. Whew, Teresa. Ooh. More man. Just something. For you, a live show with Troy Landry. That would be awesome. Ah! I should have done some. Me and Troy did a lot of work this header season back and forth together. But we were so busy. Uh we uh but see Troy lives about seventy five miles from me. So he ain't just right there. You know. Do you watch Oak Island show on History Channel? I've watched it before. I haven't seen it in a long time though. I like to watch it. that's if I watch T V that's basically all I'm gonna watch is stuff like that on the History Channel. Who said that? Oh, Terry. Terry you. Melissa Gill. Waveland, Mississippi. We know where that's at. Right by the Silver Slipper. <laughs> uh oh, what I did now. Zachary Corder. Counter. France grew up in the city of this. Gonna be the first year eating off the land. Cool. Cool. I like doing that. Y'all, we're going to get out of here. I'm going to leave y'all alone. I got some stuff to pick up and clean up around here. And uh, we'll talk to y'all tomorrow sometime. Looks like I'm going to I'm gonna have a lot of uh, messages to read after this. Joe Harrison, you ever ate possum? Yeah, I've ate possum before. And possum's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Stacey Bryan, my boy Tyler Bryan wanted to know if you could say hi this evening from where? Lincoln, Missouri, I guess it is. Well, hey, Tyler, how you doing? I said it, y'all. We're going to get out of here and leave y'all alone. We'll talk to y'all tomorrow, probably, and uh, sometime. Don't forget to like my page. Don't forget to share it. We're going to talk to y'all after a while. All right, bye-bye.